The fallen temple capstone dungeon consists of two trials to retrieve stones for the pedestals. Upon returning a stone, you'll receive a stacking debuff over time. These can be dangerous debuffs if you let them stack too high, especially for hardcore players. The debuffs are Curse of the Indolent every 5 seconds. Curse of the Indolent increases the duration of crowd control effects on you by 1%, stacking it up to 50 times. Every time you kill an enemy, the stack is reduced by 1. Curse of the Weak. Every 5 seconds, Curse of the Weak increases the damage you take from enemies by 1%, stacking up to 50 times. Every time you kill an enemy, the stack is reduced by 1. Once both stones have been placed on the pedestals, you will then be tasked with collecting Animus from cannibals within the dungeon whilst the debuffs are still ongoing. Once the Animus is placed in the Animus urn, the debuffs will disappear and you'll face the final boss. Elias, the final boss, has moves that should be avoided. They are that he will cast a frontal cone attack, as well as these triangular shaped fireballs, whilst also summoning 3 Balrog minions. He'll also throw out fireballs in a sort of star-like pattern around himself. One of his deadliest abilities are these pools of blood that he shoots out. Avoid all of these abilities as best as you can. And that's all there is to it. I hope this quick one minute guide helps you to beat the capstone dungeon and reach world tier 4. Please do subscribe if it helped out and I'll catch you in the next video.